As technology becomes ever more present in our lives, designing intuitive interfaces is becoming a more and more important challenge. The ultimate interface would be simple, natural language. Wouldn't it be amazing if we could speak to our devices as easily as we speak to one another? Unfortunately, today's natural language interfaces are clumsy. They force users to utter predefined commands, or they look for specific keywords in a sentence and ignore everything else. I designed a novel algorithm called Casper, which takes a fundamentally different approach. Casper transforms commands like delete unread emails from Bob into English parse trees. These trees identify groups of words like noun phrases and verb phrases. A very similar type of tree, called an abstract syntax tree, or AST, can be used to represent computer code. Casper takes advantage of this by mapping directly from English parse trees onto computer ASTs. This technique works well for compound commands, because trees naturally break down complicated sentences into simpler parts. I used Casper to build a basic voice-controlled email program. Display emails from Bob. I could also have said, show emails which Bob sent, show messages which were sent by Bob, or even find all of the messages which were sent to me by Bob. I could have added a modifier, like unread, or I could have found emails from more than one person. Casper also knows about time periods. Once I found these emails, I might want to open the attachments in them, or forward them to Joe. And maybe I remember that I also meant to send Joe an email from Rosie. I decide that I want to keep Jessica in the loop as well. And because I'm in a sharing mood, I also copy all of my friends and colleagues. This command is now more complex than an average user would ever utter, but it illustrates what separates Casper from existing algorithms. Casper excels at mixing and matching modifiers, and at combining many different types of commands. In the future, algorithms like Casper may allow us to communicate with our technology as seamlessly as we communicate with other people.